Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share how I remove my Gel-X nails at home. I've had this question a few times. I love doing the Gel-X method on myself just because it lasts the longest for me personally and it's very easy to do very user friendly in my opinion and I have a few videos on that and usually I'll get a comment or two how do I remove them at home I've never done a video because I'm not a professional there are a lot of really great videos you can watch online so I'll share my two cents for those of you that are interested that are watching my channel so some things that I would recommend is an electric nail drill this one's from Melody Susie and I've had it for a few years now probably three years and it's just worked really well for me Melody Susie also sells different drill bits so I purchased two extra drill bits because the drill bits that come with the nail drill they're not really made for removing hard gel or acrylic type products I got medium and coarse right here medium is great for removing soft gel and then the coarse along with other drill bits is great for hard gel they actually have a info graphic of sorts on their Amazon page so here are all the drill bits they recommend if you want to use like acrylic and hard gels and coarse is the all the way at the end meaning it's going to be the most gentle out of all the coarse ones and then medium they recommend for hard gel and then they have other drills so they kind of go through and just explain which one's great for what so that is why i got medium and coarse and i'm going to try them out in today's video i'm going to start off with medium i don't really want to start off with coarse just yet but the reason why i bought them is because to remove gel x you want to go ahead and file as much as possible you do not want to file to your natural nail but there is a top coat there's gel product so there are a few layers of hard gel by the way i'm missing a few nails so that's why i have to remove them but there are a few layers of hard gel on the nail and because gel requires the soak off method to remove meaning you soak it in pure acetone which is something else that you will need the acetone has to work a lot harder if there are more layers to eat through if you will so by removing the top few layers using a drill bit the acetone has less layers to work through and it's just going to come off a lot faster so you're going to need the electric drill the proper drill bits pure acetone and then cotton rounds you can use cotton rounds but i purchased something new to try today i'm going to try these right here and these already have a little cotton square to it with the foil so it just makes it a lot easier what i would do is i would use a cotton round with cling wrap i feel like cling wrap really keeps everything inside whereas foil kind of lets a lot of the air through so cling wrap and cotton rounds works really well that's what i usually use but i just want to try something new in today's video and then also vaseline i'm going to apply this around the cuticle because acetone can be very harsh especially pure acetone so i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of the vaseline all around the cuticles on the skin to kind of keep them moisturized so that the acetone doesn't you know dry my skin out and things like that so let's just get started i'm going to plug in my nail drill I'm going to start off with the medium drill bit. Very nice and sanitary. So really great job on the packaging. So this is the medium drill bit here. You can see that it has pretty prominent ridges compared to a typical drill bit. So it's pretty coarse. And these fit the Melody Susie drill, the one that I have. This one was like under $20. It's just such a great, such a great nail drill. I really have no issues with it. I do want to invest in a, you know, one of those fans that like really sucks everything in like all the dust. I don't have that for now, so we're just gonna work with it. You can also adjust the direction it's going in. So you wanna make sure that it's going in the right direction, not going against the nail, and then also the speed. So you can go like really slow. I'm gonna put it on like medium. I'm gonna go ahead and file off those first few layers. This drill bit, oh my gosh, it makes it so easy. It's literally just like taking it right off. Cause I've been using the other drill bits with this and it would just take forever. <laughs> I do not do fills with gel X method. I know some people that do, and if it works for you, that's great. For me personally, I just prefer removing the whole thing and applying a fresh set. Nothing beats a fresh set when it comes to gel X. In my opinion, they don't really recommend fills for gel X, but I know that there are some people that do. So I'm gonna go ahead and file off the tops of all the nails, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Just kidding, there's one step that I completely forgot. If you have long nails, you're going to want to go ahead and clip them down. I'm not going to clip my natural nail, but just kind of clip off the tips because this way the tip just like flew halfway across the room because this way not only do you have less to file, acetone also has less to kind of eat through or disintegrate. So go ahead and clip the nails down to whatever size and then go in and file off the tops. I'm going to go ahead and swap out the drill bit for the coarse one. So here's what the coarse one looks like. 
I'm going to try this just to see how it works because the medium one works really well. I'm just interested to see how this will compare. This one definitely removes a lot much faster. But again, you have to be very careful with these drill bits. Don't be too rough with them. Just remove the first couple of layers and then be very careful around your skin and cuticles as well. Here are what the nails look like before. And then this is after clipping them and filing off the first couple of layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these right here. And I would recommend getting your acetone at Walmart. It's like three dollars two or three dollars whereas on amazon the same exact one will be nine dollars so definitely find it at your local walmart take your acetone and soak that little cotton pad that is on the aluminum foil and you're going to place this right over the nail so you want to make sure that it's covering the entire nail Ooh, just kidding just kidding my gosh i'm all over the place today take your vaseline take your vaseline and apply this all over the cuticles I almost forgot, I keep forgetting so many things today. Now take this little piece right here and you wanna make sure that this entire square is covering the entire nail. And go ahead and wrap it up so that it is nice and secure. And you're gonna leave that for about 15, it's a while. I would say about 15, 20, 25 minutes. I would do one hand at a time, that way you have this free hand to kinda like, you know, scroll through your phone, whatever it is you need to do while this is soaking off. So let me go ahead and wrap them all up. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check on some of the nails. Let me start off with the pinky. And I forgot to mention, you're also gonna need like a nail scraper tool. I got this as a set on Amazon. It comes with a cuticle pusher, and then this is the tool that I'm talking about here. All the nails are ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the foil. And as you can tell just from looking at it, the gel products are softened. And then use the scraper tool to go ahead and scrape everything off. Do not scrape off product that is not ready to come off. So if it's not soft enough, just again, repeat the steps until it is soft enough to remove. But this way you're not really damaging the natural nails. This is the least damaging way in my opinion to remove the Gel-X products. And because I have some Vaseline around my cuticles, my skin isn't really dried out either. Let me go ahead and clean everything up and then I'll show you what my nails look like once this is all removed. I also wanted to mention if there's any glue left over in your natural nail that doesn't want to come off because the glue that I use, if you use the same glue that I do, it comes in a tube. Una Gel sells one, ETA Art Box sells one as well. It's a very jelly glue so it doesn't dry rock hard or it doesn't cure rock hard. It remains very jelly. Sometimes it doesn't want to come off all the way. So if there's any like little tidbits here and there, I just go in with a nail file, a hand file, and very gently kind of buff it. And that usually kind of removes any excess glue. But again, you don't want to be excessive with this process. You don't want to file away too much of your natural nail. Prior to this set that I had on right now, I ended up removing my nails, kind of like peeling them off. I couldn't wait. Sometimes when I get anxious or anything like that, or if one nail pops off, I have a very bad habit of sometimes just peeling them off. And I really damaged my natural nail bed. So do not peel off your nails. It will damage your nail bed. I'm trying to like get them back to health right now. The cat has returned she's right here trying to eat at the plastic wrap like girl what are you doing but i'm applying some vaseline to my nails you can apply cuticle oils just that i already have this here here are my natural nails once i went ahead and removed the nail products so to kind of recap you want to go ahead and take a nail clipper or something like this and clip off the tips if you have really long nail tips and i like to clip it to my natural nail length and then take your electric drill you can use a hand file but this is just going to take a lot more effort and then also i feel like you might nick your cuticle with this you can nick your cuticle with this as well but i feel like this is just a lot easier and i'll link the drill bits that i use down below i feel like the coarse one is actually really great for getting those top few layers off do not do it all the way to your natural nail and then don't keep it in one spot for too long because you don't want heat friction or anything like that but take off those first few layers so that the acetone has less to eat through and then whether you want to use the cotton round method with cling wrap or these right here I'll link them down below just go ahead and soak them wrap it around your nails and then leave them on for 15 20 minutes check them after 15 20 minutes if they're ready they should skate scrape right off I'll link these down below as well but that is kind of the gist of it I wanted to share because I do get that question quite a bit I've just been kind of weary to share because there are really really great videos online but I guess this is my two cents on that but yeah I'll link everything down below thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in future videos